Hi gang, this is Daniel Byrons, drummer, composer, and producer in Toronto, Canada. This is video number two about my Murat Drill cymbals. Video number one was about why I signed on with the company, but today, in number two, we're going to look a little more closely about what I got. Let's start with the hi-hats. They're from the what they call the Arena line, 14-inch hats. Look at them. Dark, dirty, and that's part of the quality they sound like. They have grit, they're a little dark, they're not very heavy, they're on the lighter side, but they're lathed on the inside. There's the grit on the outside, but they're lathed on the inside, giving them some clarity and, and uh, projection. These were the selling point for me. These really got me started on the company. Here we go. Check out the chick. Really nice. The next symbol here is the Renaissance Light 20 inch crash. Now this is the most like an old Turkish symbol. And uh, in a sense that, you know, back in the day, the gauge of the symbols was a little lighter than what happened during the rock era, things got heavier. So Murat calls this a crash, but I use it as a ride symbol. In this setup, it's my left hand ride. In really quiet situations, I'll use it as my main ride. Check it out. Kind of a classic sound. Moving on to this ride over here. This is from what they call the mosaic line, and it's really special. It has the spread and character of a hand-hammered uh, hand symbol, which it is, but it's also got some dryness to it, and it's got some ping to it. It's quite a beautiful, unique symbol. It's a little heavier gauge than the other ones, so I bring it out for slightly louder situations. If there's a horn man on the gig, say a tenor player or a woman, uh, or electric guitar, then this comes out for the slightly louder situations. I've also used it crossed over into my heavier setup where I use my world music and such. I can do the job there too. Um, amazing symbol. Okay, we're going to move on now to this, my third ride. Sometimes my second ride, if it's a very quiet situation, I'll use this as my second ride. And this is the Renaissance Dark 19-inch Crash. I had my pal take a drill to it and I put in a rivet. So it's, it's a rivet symbol now and it's quiet and soft. Sometimes very useful. Finally, we're going to do Renaissance light 17 inch crash. Now this has a lot of finger marks on it because I use it a lot in all my setups. And there it is. Let me play a bit for you. to check out their full line of symbols. I suggest you subscribe to this channel as I'll have a, another video about my other setup of Murat Dorels, also about my upcoming Gretsch drums. I'm signed to Gretsch in Canada 
and I'll have some live performance videos here for you. So press that button, subscribe, or check me out on my website, danielbarnes.net, for my live performance schedule and to hear my records. And finally, on Facebook and Instagram at Daniel Barnes Music. Ciao.